So one of the main things I do on Ravelry I participate in is knit-alongs. Um, knit-alongs are basically in different groups you will all be knitting maybe a same pattern together or a pattern by a particular designer together or same kind of thing together so like we all might be knitting socks for example um, so I participated in a lot of these different knit alongs over the six years I've been on Ravelry um, especially when I first joined I participated in a lot of sock knit alongs and actually the way I learned a lot of the things I know about knitting socks is by participating in these knit alongs um, seeing the different patterns the different techniques people were using to knit different parts of the sock um, techniques they were using to cast on and bind off were they knitting the socks starting at the toe which is called toe up or were they knitting them top down starting at the cuff and going down to the toe um, I learned how to do a lot of different kinds of techniques within the sock patterning like lace knitting um, or cables these are all kind of technical knitting terms but a lot of those things I learned them through different knit alongs I participated in and I just kind of taught myself um, how to do them or sometimes there were tutorials in the patterns that I was doing um, so I, I learned a lot what, of what I know about knitting from knitting socks and from knit alongs and then since then I've participated in knit alongs for different podcasts I belong to as well and with in the last year I started participating in something called Nerd Wars which I want to tell you about um, especially because it involves a lot of creativity in my writing. Um, so I think it's pretty applicable to this article. So Nerd Wars is a friendly knitting competition, but it's not really competitive. It's kind of more like a personal knitting challenge. Um, and you can play on a team or you can do what they say call do what they call uh, you can play as a ninja but I've always played on a team. Um, you can choose what team you want to play on, what team you'd like to sign up for, and the teams represent lots of different nerderies. Um, so you can choose what you want to participate on. So I started by participating on Team Stargate Command, which was for the TV show Stargate. Uh, since then, I participated on Team Iron Throne for Game of Thrones and also team canceled for the TV shows um, that have been canceled in three seasons or less. And then for the last two tournaments, and I plan to participate in February as well, um, I've been participating on Team Rangers for the TV show Babylon 5. So each tournament, it consists of three rounds. In each round, which lasts for a month, uh, there are five knitting challenges and each challenge involves different nerdy things and basically you can choose to knit whatever you want for that challenge but so you could knit socks you could knit a hat you could hit you know you can knit whatever you want um, it's the item that you knit doesn't matter uh, but what does matter is that you tie in whatever you knit into whatever the particular challenge is for um, whatever the prompt is for that particular challenge um, and then something related to your nerdery so I'm gonna give you an example <clears throat> and I'll show you something that I knit for one of the challenges so here's a pair of socks that I knit uh, here's both socks <laughs> um, so I knit these socks for one of the challenges um, the challenge was um, it was about live action role playing so we were supposed to learn some things about live action role playing and we were supposed to write about what uh, LARP character what our LARP character would wear so um, the way I did that way I tied these socks into that challenge was to talk about this yarn which um, is the colors from the holiday Dia de los Muertos and so I said that my LARP character would wear a Day of the Dead mask. 
um, in LARPing and that that Day of the Dead mask would have similar colors. And then I posted a picture of a Day of the Dead mask that had similar colors um, in that post, in that challenge post. Um, and then I also tied this into Babylon 5 by saying that um, this project, these socks, also connect to um, an, an episode in Season 5 called Day of the Dead. So in that way, I was able to tie this project both into the challenge on Nerd Wars and into my nerdery for the team I was playing for. And then you get a certain number of points for each challenge you complete. And um, those points, they add up all the points for your team. And then at the end of the three rounds, the team with the most points wins. Um, so it's fun. It's It kind of, you know embraces a lot of the things that I like in my life. Um, I love to think about how things that I knit are connected to other things. I mean, even though it's kind of random and I'm kind of doing this research on my own and making things fit together with the challenge, um, it, it's a kind of literate practice or activity that I really enjoy as an English major and undergraduate. <laughs> It was kind of the thing that, you know, I had to do every time I wrote a paper. I mean, I didn't really know that much about literature. So, you know, I do research and I connect these things together. And sometimes the connections felt real and sometimes they felt kind of creatively made up at that moment. So, um, so it's something I really enjoy about writing. And I think that's why um, I keep participating in Nerd Wars. Um, also, Knitting for Nerd Wars helps me stay motivated to knit. There's a thread on the forum for Team Rangers. I read it almost daily, and I post occasionally to it. And we talk about Babylon 5, but we also talk about other stuff. We talk about life stuff. Um, there are other professors in the group. Sometimes I've shared about classes I'm teaching, like... Um, teaching a class called Beyond Gray's Anatomy this semester, which is about medicine and pop culture. I shared that I was teaching that class and um, some things from Babylon 5 that I thought were interesting. And then people gave me suggestions. Actually, several people gave me like tons of suggestions of things I could show from Law and & Order and other TV shows. So um, it's really cool how you know, the different teammates, my teammates and I, we have overlapping interests. And it's nice to feel a part of a team. Um, it's nice to feel connected to other people on a regular basis. It's a smaller group of people. We have similar interests within this kind of larger Ravelry community. So again, it just helps me feel connected. And um, yeah, 